four outcasts of the Dallas Hot Rod community have partnered to form Fired Up Garage. Well, here we are, guys. Their common bond all have severed ties with Richard Rawlings. Tom Smith, fired for insubordination. Thomas Weeks, labeled rival after competing for cars. Jordan Butler, fired for bad attitude. Scott McMillan, quit after being overworked and underpaid. All are united by their passion for cars and their collective desire to replace Gas Monkey Garage as the number one hot rod shop in Dallas. This is Misfit Garage. Where are we going? Going north. I, I've been following this car literally for over 25 years. Because that's how I work when it comes to keeping up with cars. I got a book at home that's just filled with people with old cars that, hey, one day they may be looking to sell. I give them a call every once in a while, and sometimes, like today, I get lucky. So we, it, it's just perfect timing because, you know, we just got deep right off into this, this whole shop deal, and then, you know, boom, I get this call on the Chevelle that I've been chasing forever. Sometimes deals happen like that, and sometimes they're saved for exactly the right time, like we need it right now. Oh, there it is. That's it. There it is. There's Bobby right there. Oh, geez, that's a big guy. Man, I hadn't seen him. That guy doesn't look very friendly. He's walking faster this way than uh, we're moving that way. All the way here, I'm thinking, Thomas, I know he's a good car buyer, good car finder. And then I see a big guy, possibly with a gun. Now I'm starting to get a little nervous. It's your friend, right? Yeah. OK. I hope he's my friend. You know what? I'm just thinking, get past Bobby. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I just want to yeah. see the car. Bobby, anybody seen a 67 Chevelle laying around here? Yeah. I don't know how long I've known Thomas. Uh, me and my dad used to own a tire shop up here. It's good to see you, man. And he started trying to buy it up there and stuff. And on and off, he's pestered me through the years about it. You know, I can't give up, man. I just can't give up. I got to have it. I don't want to get rid of it, but you know my kid's gone off to college and stuff. He's needing a car and stuff, so. Well, I understand. She's been catching hell in here and stuff, and she's a good one. It's a 67 Chevy Malibu. Me and my brother were actually on my way to go buy a 69 Camaro, but we drove by like this old plumbing place or whatever, and it was all covered up with plumbing parts. That's where I bought it right there. Just something, you know, fell in love with when I first saw it. Well, you say you mind if we mind if we pull this thing out where I might be able to look at it a little bit closer? Yeah, let me move some of this stuff. Okay. Is it still a big block, Bobbing? No, I've got a small block in it now. What happened to the big block? Blew it up. Blew it up. There you go. At one time when it was all cleaned up and driving, I was off for 14. But you know, you could put a price on something like that, but it, you know, really in the end, the memories. 